Hi everybody, welcome to my art journal. Today I'm painting fish tank. It's still January, so I'm still only using acrylics since I focus on that medium this month. And uh, today I made a page um, with a fish tank. Now <laughs> that might sound kind of random, but um, I took a photo on my last vacation with my parents, which was pretty much a year ago. It was mid-January uh, 2015, and we were on the Baltic Sea, and we visited a uh, ocean kind of museum kind of a thing. And they had lovely fish tanks in there, and I took a photo of an octopus in a fish tank, and I really liked it. and. Um, well, I super recently, like one or two days ago, I went through those old photos, remembering because it was a very important time for me. And um, well, I just thought, ah, this is the last vacation with my dad um, before things got really ugly. Uh, with his health and well I just loved it up there so I wanted to remember and uh, thus I watched the photos looked at them and really liked that one and I thought ah uh, it's not too obvious that I miss him so much around this time right now like one year later that I'm still well, going through shit and um, still grieving, of course, but uh, this looks actually just nice, this page. It has an optimism, a hope, life, you know, it, it says more things than just, ah, oh, shit, I'm remembering and I'm grieving, you know? So I chose that photo to paint in my art journal today, and I'm starting off with turquoise, brush, Prussian blue, uh, Van Dyke Brown and Mixing White to make the background, which is this blue brownish kind of a page for my fish tank here. Now on the left hand side I just paint a solid column or bar of Van Dyke Brown because this is the part of the fish tank the octopus actually clings to. It, it does that in the photo, so I'm just doing the same thing on my painting too. I'm changing up the uh, floor of the tank a bit or the background of the um, tank. I made it way more blue than it actually was. It had more of a concrete brownish backdrop, that tank, and I changed it to, to a bit more blue. But other than that, I'm pretty accurate with, with the photo that I took. Now for the bottom, I'm just taking a bit of light ochre, Van Dyke Brown, and the rest of that blue color that I have on my brush. Notice I don't clean my brush, so I'm always getting a bit of the color that I painted before, which um, helps along with harmony and repetition of color, which just makes a painting nicer to the eye. And it also, uh, well, just is natural because again um, there are not clean colors uh, in fish tanks it's always kind of muddy you know so I'm taking a bit of magenta which is a cool red and mixing white and I'm putting in a coral kind of a structure at the bottom uh, this is one thing I changed up from the photo. The coral was way more intricate and lovely looking than my stony kind of a thing does here, but uh, I don't mind. And then I'm having another stone put into the background with light ochre. And I'm sorry that my head is in the shot, but I had to really look at the painting while I was painting and then the camera caught me pretty much. So I'm always going over things that I want to smooth out with mixing white because it just blends into the color nicely and I don't need to add water there. So this rope kind of a thingy here that I'm painting in is something that was not in the photo. There were more like algaes or something but they were really not great to paint. 
they would have taken away from another algae that I'm going to put in. So I decided, okay, I'm going to make it a rope with a, I don't know, a cage or something in there. So I'm using only very few colors, um, a cool yellow, uh, lemon yellow actually, and those blues and browns that I said, and I'm mixing those for the algae that I just mentioned, and I'm going to paint it in. It's, it looks quite yellowish, but since the light comes from the top of the tank, the, uh, even on the photo, the algae did not look green, it looked yellowish. It had a tint of green, which I'm going to put in with the shading, but uh, it didn't look like real green, you know? I'm also repeating the color on, in other places at the, um, at the journal page and I'm then just going in with uh, light ochre, burnt sienna and a bit of uh, mixing white to, well, clean up the bottom of the tank <laughs> uh, before I put in some green algae or mossy kind of a thing at the bottom just to have that color in the page again and not stand out too much, but have it look really smooth and be, well, harmonic. Uh, I'm dabbing some color and then I'm on, in other places I'm really smoothing out the color. So I'm way, way more working with texture than with different kinds of colors here. Now that I have my background done, I put in my focal point, which is the octopus that was just clinging to the wall of the tank. I'm being way more loose with the octopus than it looks on the photo, but again, a photo is a photo and a painting is a painting. So I don't wanna have that one totally realistically painted octopus in there and the rest just being rather an impression of what was on the photo. So I stayed with the same technique, the same style with the octopus, though it took away quite some of the finer details that I was able to catch with my camera. Now I'm using pretty much just a dirty brush and some white and some uh, burnt sienna or carmine red or no, it's not carmine red, cadmium red is the warm one, and uh, just painting out that octopus, uh, octopus, giving him layers, and uh, he looked way more orangey on the belly side, and kind of um, eggshell colored with a bit of bluish gray on the top side. So that's what I wanna achieve here, just have the main colors blocked in, a way warmer belly, color-wise than the top of the octopus. Uh, I'm staying with cooler colors there and uh, mix those in. For the dots, he really had dots on his back. I'm taking the rest of that green that I mixed with a bit of Van Dyke brown and I used the same brown to uh, put in the features. He had like really cool stripes there. They were that prominent. <laughs> I didn't just make those stripes in the eye area and uh, that one dark brown line going down. I didn't make that up. It, he really looked like that. And uh, I'm just defining some of the legs or arms, whatever you want to call it. And uh, just shading things a tiny bit. Again, uh, since there were multiple light sources on the photograph, I don't have a distinct shadow on it and I keep it that way when it comes to my painting. Now with some mixing white, I put in the uh, reflections of the eyes and then with a dark gray, I go around them just to make them round so that you can really see the eye. And then, eyes, it's... Uh, plural. Uh, and then I'm done. So I hope you enjoyed watching along. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. And uh, if you feel like giving this video a thumbs up or subscribe or share it with your friends, go ahead. I'd love that. And I will see you tomorrow on a tiny Tuesday and on next Monday with a new art journal. Have a great day. Bye.